Welcome back to John C. Outdoors. Uh, outside, it's a little ugly, so we're doing something inside today for our video. So we went and picked up some MREs, meal ready to eat. We're gonna test them, see how we like them, and let, let y'all know our opinion, and yeah. All right, first up, we got uh, lasagna with meat sauce. Second up, chicken fried rice. Third up, breakfast skillet. They have some more choices, but this is the ones we pick with. We got one for breakfast, for lunch, or vice versa, whichever, but one for lunch and one for dinner. Uh, got the water started boiling over here. It's got on the back preparation instructions. Uh, it just says carefully add one and a quarter cup of boiling water. So that's what we're doing now, getting our water ready. And that's it. All you need is boiling water. If you're out in the woods in a survival situation, get your two sticks or whatever you need to start you a fire. Get your fire going, get your water boiling, and you'll have something ready to eat. <clears throat> we would have went with we we would have went with a fire today instead of uh doing it over the stove but like he said it's been a nasty day it's been raining it's muddy all the woods wet you can't really do much right now so we decided to do an indoor video today all right guys so uh we're gonna move on to the next step and we will show y'all step by step of how to do this all right guys our water's starting to boil over here it's been on the stove for about five ten minutes <laughs> it came to a complete boil ready to go so we're going to get our meals ready here we're going to start off with our breakfast skillet we're just going to tear it open and remove our oxygen pack we don't want to eat that so uh, on the inside looks like a little bit of eggs. Let me let me get up close here. Kind of show y'all a little bit of what is it, Jason? Eggs, potato. There's a. It's got shredded potatoes, scrambled eggs mixed with pork sausage, pepper, and onions. So, I mean, it smells like breakfast. Yeah. So now we've got to uh, it's pour that, water in there. Yeah, it says add one and one fourth cup of boiling water. All right, we're gonna come over here to our boiling water. Jason's gonna go ahead and add his one full cup. And then we're gonna add a quarter of a cup. All right, so that step's done on this one. Now we're going to, it's got a zipper pouch. We're gonna zip that up. Make sure it's fully zipped. Mix it up. It says stir carefully and wait five minutes. So we'll get back to y'all when the five minutes is up. All right, guys. Uh, so uh, we went ahead and done the other two, uh, the lasagna and the uh, chicken fried rice. Uh, so we went ahead and uh, added the water and everything to them. Skip the boring part for you guys. And now it's time for the ultimate test. Are you ready? I'm ready. Okay, we're gonna start off with the breakfast. You got your fork? You got my fork. Uh, off right. of appearance, this don't look too good. Yeah, as you can see, it, it smells good, but we don't know about the taste yet. I'm gonna stir it with my fork. <laughs> you gotta go all in or nothing, boys. Hold on, hold on. All right, I'm gonna blow mine off a little bit. It seems like it's gonna be a little hot. All right, all right here, here we, go. we go. Bottoms up. It's honestly not bad. I mean, could be better. Yeah, oh. Mm. That's not setting right. No. <laughs> All right. 
Not a big fan of that one. All right. We're going to rate them from 1 to 10. All right. From 1 to 10, what do you give the breakfast? I mean, honestly, I'd give it a, a 3 or a 4. And the only reason why I'm not giving it a 1 is because if I was out in the woods with nothing else to eat, that actually wouldn't be too bad. But... <laughs> It's just the flavor, it's not all there. It would get you by if this is all you had to eat, but if I had something else, I'd definitely be choosing something else over this. It just don't have too good of a taste. Like, you can't taste the egg. You can't taste the potato. The only thing I could taste in this is the peppers. Yeah, I think that's right. I, I didn't give my rate. My rate, I'm going to say I give it a Four and a half. Four and a half. That's that's about as high as I can give that one. I mean it like I said, it's it's okay, but I'm like him. The peppers in it really really stand out more than the egg or anything. And to be fair, it's kinda just it's spongy. I mean just you know it's just like mush. Yeah. Like so the I mean, egg's not really I mean, like he said, out out in there if I didn't have anything else to eat and this was available. I would definitely eat it and I probably wouldn't complain right, because right. I mean if you're not able to catch your own food or anything this would be the perfect thing to eat as a breakfast food right. you know so even if it was the only thing you had I mean it's still doable so that's it with the breakfast one now we're moving on do you want to do the chicken fried rice or lasagna chicken fried rice all right so this is our lunch if we were out in the wild right now. Let's pop this bad boy open. Mix it up a little bit, stir it up a little bit. This one, visually looking at it, I could definitely tell this is gonna taste a whole lot better. The rice seems, I don't know, it's just, it's just rice. You can't go wrong with rice, so. This one might not be bad. No. All right, we're gonna dive in. A little mushy. All right, ready? Bottoms up. Mm. That one's pretty good. The, yeah. only, the only thing, which I know it's a survival kit, but the only thing I will say that this one could use is probably like some kind of sauce or something to kind of right. give it a little seasoning, you know. But as a survival, as a survival food, chicken fried rice, I'm going to give that one a, I'll probably give that one about an eight, seven and a half, eight, something like that. I just gave the piece of chicken a try. That was one of the best pieces of chicken I've actually ate. That was. Now, and I want to, I want to sit here and say this too. These aren't actual, the MREs, you know, the military type. MREs, we call them MREs, which that's technically what they are, but these are the Walmart brand, the Mountain House Adventure Meals. I just wanted to put that out there. Uh, but yeah, this one definitely is solid seven and a half to eight. If you were out in the woods, this would be this would be absolutely luxury, okay? This would be like me at home <laughs> at steak. This is good. Yeah. Mm. Definitely, mm -hmm. definitely. That's definitely a good one. I can right. taste the rice, the chicken, and there is a little bit of seasoning on there, but not like crazy. Yeah, and it says also, it says this one has green peas, onions, carrots, and mushrooms in it too. So I don't think we mentioned what was in them, but. And I did try a mushroom, it was actually pretty good. Yeah, I can kind of taste the mushroom in it too mm -hmm. a little bit, so. You ready to move on to the next one? No, I want to finish this. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Last and not least, this is our supper, our dinner. Uh, lasagna and meat sauce. In this one, the lasagna and meat sauce, we have a cheesy Italian style tomato sauce and beef. So, let's fire this bad boy up. And this one, so you mix it up a little bit. This one actually does not look too bad. This one, I don't know taste-wise, but looks, 
Let's get y'all guys a little look here. I don't know if you can see that too well, but the look on it, it looks about like, you know, I like, mean, it kind of looks like hamburger helper to me. Right. I mean, to me, I wouldn't know the difference in this. In like a canned soup or yeah yeah that's what it really is it's, it it's like in good. between like a hamburger helper to me and like a can right. type of thing right so all right all in let me i'm gonna real quick so i can get the full taste i'm gonna paper that towel off my uh my fork here so i can wipe that other stuff off <laughs> all right let me get me a little fork here all right here we go Mmm, that's pretty good. Uh, I taste something a little, a little crusty in there, like a little hard piece of something. I got a little hard piece of something. Taste wise, though, pretty good. I will say, that was pretty darn good. The, uh, the I guess you could say tomato sauce or whatever sauce is in lasagna really takes <laughs> over in this. The noodles, I can't really taste the noodles too much. And I can taste the hamburger meat. But the sauce is just overwhelming. But it's really, really good. Yeah, I agree. Uh, I will say, definitely, definitely has a, like a Campbell's slash, uh, like a Campbell's soup, and it also has like a hamburger helper taste yeah. to it to me a lot. Like yeah. a lasagna hamburger helper mm -hmm. type taste. It definitely tastes, it's like in between those two to me. I would definitely, mm -hmm. definitely eat this one. I, I, I would eat this whole bag. I can also taste a little bit of tomato in there as well. So. Yeah, I would definitely eat this whole bag. Oh, yeah. <laughs> All right, so rating this one. I didn't even get to rate the last one. Oh, yeah. All right, we're going to go back to this one for a second. Jason's rate. I give that a solid ten. Ten. Even if I wasn't out in the woods, I would take that to work with me and eat that on break. That that is really good. <clears throat> uh. All right. So back to the uh, lasagna with meat sauce. What's yours? I'd give it a six or a seven. I'd say a seven because it. The reason why I'm giving it that have a rating is because it's, it's just so close to, like, a canned food. Like, you could go get a can of soup, and it's going to last you about as long as this will. That's the only thing I don't like about it. But other than that, the flavor, the noodles, the taste, the hamburger meat, it's all there. It's, it's on point. I would give it a higher rating if you couldn't just go buy a can of this. And cans can sometimes last longer than freeze dry stuff. Yeah, I agree. And yeah, like he said, I would say, I would say this one to me, I'm going to give it a, the second, the second fork full was better than the first. The first one I had a little bit of chunk in there of some sort. I don't know exactly what it was, but, uh, the second fork of it was pretty good. Uh, I really, I really liked it. Like he said, it, it, it reminds you a lot of like a canned food. So, uh, you can buy, you know, you can buy a can that can last you a while too. That's hard to say because. And cans are so much more cheaper than these. Yeah. That's, that's what's, that's the only thing that's got me pushing back. I give it a, that's a hard choice. I'm going to give it a six and a half. That, that's fair. Six and a half. And these right here, by the way, if you have not seen them at Walmart or Academy Sports, these are, I think I bought them for $9.90 something a pop. So, you know, about 30 bucks for three. Uh, so that's why we compare it to the cans, you know, that's saying the cans, you know, you can get them for cheaper if you're in a survival situation. You can go get a can something for 98 yeah. cents, you know. Yeah, so, I mean, but... Then you gotta think about it too. Well, I mean, you can boil a can too, technically. Yeah, you can boil can, uh, can stuff. So yeah, that's true. I was thinking of a microwave, but you ain't gonna have a microwave out there in no. the wild. So yeah, you'd have to boil that too. But, uh, and maybe in a, one of our next videos, we're gonna try some real MREs eventually. And we'll give y'all that because they have a lot more stuff in them than these. So right. these were just, uh, these are just your basic, <laughs> if you're stranded and you need a meal pretty much. Yeah. we. 
we've seen these in Walmart and have been wanting to try them and we just haven't had yet. And with it being kind of a, a rainy, muddy type of day outside, you know, this was our, this was our, uh, our decision to make our this. Our go-to decision. Yeah. So, uh, but yeah, these are pretty good. The ones we do not recommend, the breakfast. The breakfast, not good at all. Once again, real mushy and just, you know, not a strong egg or anything tastes like that. So I would I wouldn't wear out outdoors if you didn't have nothing else. Well, if I was outdoors and I had nothing else to just drive <laughs> on, I'd probably go kill a possum and try it before I ate this. This is disgusting, <laughs> so. Uh, but yeah, these two right here, and we might try that. We might try the other ones as well eventually. But these two right here, lasagna and the chicken fried rice, definitely these are two we recommend. And we'll probably end up buying the other. I think there's two or three more options. Yeah. We'll probably, and there might be some more at Academy or something. You know, different choices. But as far as as far as the Walmart that we live by that had these right here. Uh, these are two that we recommend so far as far as, uh, these kind of meals. So. I definitely recommend the chicken fried rice. Yes. Yeah. 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 It's, like, like I said, I, I would eat that if, even if I wasn't in a survival situation. It's, yeah. I mean, you get a, you get a good ration of a little bit of everything and the, and the flavor and taste is really there in the chicken fried rice. Yeah. It really is. That, that's, this is probably my favorite one, honestly. Like I said, if you were, if you were stranded out in the woods and you had that to eat on. You'd be the happiest human alive, okay? Yeah, it's 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 really good, and and, and like I said, just it, it, oh yeah, and also another thing is too, we told y'all that we would go back to the breakfast and tell y'all what's in it because you know we forgot. Uh, the breakfast skillet has shredded potatoes and scrambled eggs mixed with pork sausage, peppers, and onions. So that's where we say that the peppers and onions kind of stuck out more than the rest mm -hmm. of it did. You can't taste no potato. You can't taste no egg. Yeah. Tastes like foam and peppers and onions pretty much. Yeah. But, I mean, if you're hungry, you know, these, these will do. Uh, but, anyways, guys, we're going to go ahead and wrap up this video. We thought we'd just give y'all a little something to watch. Uh, if you go to Walmart and buy one of these, let them know Dante Outdoors sent you. Yeah, that's right. And, uh, just, uh, you know, let us know in the comments what your favorite style or flavor is. If you've ever tried these, uh, Mountain House Adventure Meals, uh, just let us know in the comments if, you know, if you like these, if, you know, what's your, what's your favorite kind that you've tried? Uh, cause these two right here are our two favorites so far. So, uh, just let us know in the comments. What's your favorite kind? Of and if you have any other MRE brands or anything that you would like us to try, let us know. We'll look into it and see what we can do. Yeah. So, uh, uh, as always, guys, uh, like and subscribe. Uh, uh, just like and subscribe. Share our videos. Uh, Click the video link down in the description if you want to watch a raccoon almost bite me. Also, also, if uh, I'm gonna go ahead and announce it, I can't wait no more. Uh, once we hit a thousand subscribers, we're gonna do a 24 hour survival challenge on a $50 budget. So, wanted to go ahead and announce that. Uh, thousand subscribers, that is what we're gonna do. We will be, we'll be five miles away from the house, out in the middle of the woods, with our fifty dollar survival. Yeah, fifty dollar budget includes food, uh, includes the food, our bedding, you know, our tools, uh, machetes, tent. whatever. Yeah, tent, whatever. We'll make our we'll make our own survival shelter. We'll you know either find some kind of cheap food or you know whatever we can do. Uh, so that's just something to look forward to. If you guys want us to get to that thousand subscriber mark to let y'all have that content, y'all let us know. And uh, y'all share, subscribe, like. Yeah, just talking about food and all that. 
Feels up to me, I go spend two dollars on uh, some slingshot ammo and knock a squirrel on the head. I'll be alright with me. <laughs> yeah, that's right. Uh, but anyways, guys, that was our announcement. I couldn't wait no more to tell y'all. Uh, it's been on our mind for several for several days, and we've been waiting for the perfect video to tell y'all about. And what better video, sitting there eating MREs, than to announce that kind of thing. So, as anyways, guys, y'all have a good one. Uh, like, subscribe, and as always, God, God bless. bless.